big issue that dominated headlines for much of this year, the election here in Florida. Major changes meant major decisions for voters. And this year, it's something that I and our team covered extensively. Lauren St. Germain here giving us a look back at how 2022 reshaped the Sunshine State. But while the rest of the country split the vote, Florida tilted right. And here to walk us through all the results, our political analyst, Dr. Susan McManus is joining. ABC Action News anchor Paul Legrone and our political analyst, Dr. Susan McManus, are the go-to team for all things politics in Florida. A topic which, in their words, is... Unpredictable, crazy. <laughs> Hard to follow, yeah. very complex, changes every second. And with the governor's star on the rise nationally coming out of the pandemic, this year's race for the governor's office grabbed more attention than usual. For me, one of the more interesting stories has been the sudden national rise of Governor Ron DeSantis. I mean, growing up here, I've never seen anything like that. Uh, I mean, the closest person I can think of that, you know, became a household name out of Florida was Jeb Bush. But, you know, you Google the letter R and Ron DeSantis' name is at the top of the list. And it just shows you how uh, pervasive his brand has become, not only in Florida, but he's sort of exporting it beyond our borders. This is the hardest state in the country to follow because of its complexity and constant changes. And it showed up on election night as Republicans here won big, while it was more of a mixed bag for the rest of the country. The margin of victory all the way from the top down to the bottom of the ticket, the coattails of DeSantis were very, very long and deep. And the margin was very much unexpected, even though polls were showing that it was leaning in his direction. Never did you see that kind of margin. This is a different kind of state now because you have more people, as, as Dr. McManus pointed out, moving in from, from out of state for a variety of different reasons. Uh, so the makeup of this state uh, and perhaps its perception of at least among people who live here, of who they are and the kind of lives that they want to lead, live is reflected in, in how they see the world and how they see their leaders. So this is just a very complex place to cover. You've got to read, read, read and, and watch and listen every second of the day practically. And that's why we're happy when it's over sort of and we can talk about football. <laughs> Is it ever really over, though? That's no. the problem. I mean, <laughs> now it seems like you're in constant campaign cycle. Despite heavy voter fatigue, the race for 2024 started in Florida just one week after the race for 2022 ended. Former President Donald Trump kicked off his third run for the White House from his home in West Palm Beach. In order to make America great and glorious again, I am tonight announcing my candidacy for President of the United States. And while many see Governor DeSantis as a potential GOP challenger for or Trump, the governor is not yet ready to make anything official so early. We just finished this election, okay? People just need to chill out a little bit on some of this stuff. We can never forget that people's trust in the media is greatest at local level. And I think it's really important, and I'm proud to be part of this team that really stresses local issues and local people and local people running for office and local politics. Everybody can go national for the big picture, but only local television can give you what's happening in your immediate area. On that note, you can watch all of my reporting on how the year in politics played out in Florida on my Sunday show, Full Circle Florida. It airs every Sunday morning at 830, or you can watch all the episodes on our streaming channel, ABC Action News Plus. Still to come here tonight at 530, protecting.